uh, last name is spelled S-C-H-E-P-M-A-N. I'm a spokesperson for the Denver Police Department. Uh, so this afternoon, um, uh, officers made contact with uh, two suspects in the 3400 block of Irving Street. Um, we believe this is related to a burglary call that, uh, that came in over in the area of 37th and Grove. Um, at that time, one of the two suspects was taken into custody. Uh, one of the suspects fled on foot and was chased by officers to the area of uh, Moncrief and Lowell where shots were exchanged and one of our officers was struck in the foot. The suspect continued to flee, uh, carjacked a vehicle, um, a pursuit was authorized, and the suspect lost control of that vehicle in the 3500 block of Lowell where officers stopped it. Um, at that location, officer or shots were exchanged between the suspect and two officers. The suspect was hit and was pronounced at the scene. Do you have any questions? When you say he carjacked a vehicle, was a person in the vehicle? Correct. Correct. There was a person in the vehicle that was carjacked. Uh, that person was not injured. Okay. A woman? I don't, I don't know the gender of the, of the carjacking victim. So there, there are a lot of different aspects of this. There, there, the scene is kind of sp spread out um, in multiple areas. Um, there was a burglary call in the 3700 block of Grove. Officers were responding to that when um, two of them made contact with these suspects in the 3400 block of Irving. Who made the call? Who made the call? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know the details about how the burglary call um, was placed to what police. The, of the, officer that was shot? the officer that was shot was shot in the foot. Okay. So um, um, I believe the doctors gave a, an update on the officer's condition over at the hospital. Um, but she was shot in the foot. And so. What are you guys working to do here now? Obviously, we've seen crime scene out with the white tent here. What, what, what's. What's the focus right now? Well, there are a number of different areas um, that, that um, uh, scenes that will need to be processed. There was a scene of a carjacking. There was the first um, a scene at uh, Moncrief and Lowell, where there was an exchange of gunfire between the suspect and officers, where the female officer was hit, um, as well as where the vehicle came to rest and, and the suspect was, was, uh, was struck here. So, the female officer was one of the two officers who approached the suspect initially? Correct. Okay. Correct. And uh, the hijacked victim was. Did she flee the car? Did he force her out? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't have details about how the carjacking occurred. Um, a carjacking did happen. Uh, the victim of the carjacking was not injured, um, but that vehicle um, was. We, officers pursued the suspect in that vehicle to the location here in the 3500 block of Lowell, uh, where it appears he lost control and an officer stopped it. So it's fortunate that officers were chasing this guy and during the hijacking, they were relatively close to put a stop to it. Definitely, definitely. Officers uh, in their vehicles were able to, to uh, catch up to the carjack vehicle uh, relatively quickly. I don't know the exact time frame, um, but um, a pursuit was authorized. Um, and again, the suspect lost control of that vehicle in the 3500 block of Lowell where uh, this situation ended. It appears he did lose control, um, yes, and then the officers stopped the vehicle there. Did officers ram the vehicle? We heard some reports from witnesses. It, we don't, it, it's unclear right now whether a pit maneuver was used or, or whether um, the suspect lost control of the vehicle. Um, but either, in either case, the, the suspect vehicle came to a um, arrest up against the curb uh, where um, two Denver police cars then stopped it. Shots were exchanged as well. That's correct. Can you explain that? the shots being exchanged what happened right so when when the um, when the suspect in the carjacked vehicle um, lost control here in the 3500 block of Lowell uh, shots were exchanged between the suspect and two officers and the suspect was hit and was pronounced deceased here at that scene so two officers discharged their weapons at um, Moncrief and Lowell where the um, one officer was shot Two officers discharged their weapons here at 35th and Lowell. So four four officers in, in right, altogether. Right. So so it's so it's you know again there are a lot of different scenes here, a lot of um, off, different officers involved, and so uh, you know we'll need to conduct an, um, uh, interviews of the officers to determine exactly you know how many were involved in what capacity. Um, Do you know 
know what type of a weapon the suspect was firing? I don't. Um, and that suspect was alone when the suspect hijacked the car? Correct. There were two suspects. The first one was taken into custody um, initially, um, and then the one suspect is... So the person whose car was hijacked, were they alone in the car as well? I don't know that. Were both of the suspects armed? I don't, I don't know if the second suspect was armed. They were taken into custody um, but before the other suspect took off on foot. On a personal level, I mean, can you just talk about the t how hard it is to get a call like this, to hear something like this? Um, obviously, you know, it could have been worse, but just to, to, to respond to stuff like this. Right, and it wasn't too long ago that we actually w responded to a similar situation. Um, so yeah, I mean, when, when something like this happens, um, um, you know, it's, it definitely hits home. and. Um, you know, officers do a, a, a really dangerous job, and, and unfortunately, sometimes, you know, they actually do find themselves in, in uh, imminent harm. Do we know if that initial call on the first burglary was from a neighborhood watch? Was it a call to 911 from a resident? Yeah, I don't know how the, how the initial uh, burglary call came in. And for clarification, you have two cars in the street. The white car was the suspect's car that he, that he eventually ended up in, right? The suspect vehicle is a, uh, is a silver Acura sedan. How about the blue car behind him? That's a DPD vehicle. Oh, okay. It sounds and like you couldn't, but just to confirm, you did you find a weapon? Can you confirm that in either of the suspects shot back? The, 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 the suspect, yes. One, one of the suspects was armed and exchanged gunfire with police in two different locations. The first striking, first yes. No, okay. <laughs> did you hear that, that was the, the suspect's shot that hit the officer? Or was that That'll be part of the investigation. Yeah. So we. So for, I'll go through it again. We have two suspects. One was taken into custody upon initial contact. So then we have one suspect who is at large, uh, led police on a foot chase, uh, at which time there was an exchange of gunfire. One of our officers was hit in the foot. That suspect continued on to carjack a vehicle. A pursuit ensued. Uh, the vehicle was stopped in the 3500 block of Lowell where shots again were exchanged with police and the suspect was, was struck and was pronounced deceased. Thanks guys. Just one last question on the officers who exchanged fire. Was it all sidearms? Did they have any other? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the, the types of weapons that were used either by the suspect or the officers at this time.